Jonathan Pinfield for seconds out here with Jordan Gill. We've just seen Josh Warrington win back the world title with a sensational seventh round TKO of Kiko Martinez. Uh, Jordan, uh, your nickname's The Thrill. How much of a thrill was that win for you? Oh, it was a massive thrill. I think it was a great atmosphere here. You know, the Leeds fans really get behind Josh Warrington. It was great to see, you know, seventh round knockout, Kiko Martinez. Martinez is teak tough. He's, he's a proven warrior. And he was tonight as well. He was down in the first, a, a, a wide left hook. Um, you know, missed Josh Warrington and, and Josh Warrington met him with a shorter one and, and it done the job in the first. But, you know, he's tough. He got up, he was cut, he was bloodied, he was bruised, but he uh, he battled on and, and Josh got got there in the end. He got he got that stoppage and it was a good stoppage. Yeah, Josh really started out with vicious intentions, didn't he? Right from the get-go, real intensity. Yeah, he started very fast and um, he looked like he... He really wanted to hurt Kiko. Um, you know, it set the fight settled after about two rounds, and then Kiko started getting to a rhythm. I think Josh fought right a bit with a best shot, and and he didn't really, you know, see him off. So, you know, he, he was probably preparing himself mentally for 12 rounds at that point. But then I think he hurt him later on in the fight, and uh, he managed to put some shots together and get get the finish. Yeah, it looked like Josh was in control, but in the seventh, it looked to us, or a couple of people at ringside, as though Kiko clipped him, which might have actually persuaded Josh to put his foot back on the pedal. How did you see the seventh? Yeah, I think uh, I saw a big right hand from Kiko land, uh, and it was pretty flush, and uh, I'm probably, i sure Josh felt it. Kiko's not a, a soft puncher, is he? So, yeah, I'm sure he felt it and thought, you know what, if I can if I cannot make 12 rounds, uh, I'd rather get him down early. So, yeah, no, he's done, done a great job. Fair play to him. And what do you think of the atmosphere here tonight? Unbelievable. And Leeds fans, like I said, always deliver um, second to none. Um, so, yeah, really good. Featherweight division, one of the glamour divisions right now. All the big names there, you're in the mix. So, the exciting times. If you were in Josh's position, what, what would you be looking to do next? I mean, if I was Josh, um, I'd do what he wants to do. Uh, I'd... I'd you know, he's earned the right to have his big fight in America. That's what he said he wants. He wants to go to America and have a big fight, give, give the fans an away day. And um, I think that for, for him, that's probably a better option. But for all of us in, in the arena, and me and my, my friend Lee Wood, we want to see the Lee Wood fight. But I think, you know, stylistically, the Lee Wood fight is all wrong for Josh Ronson. I think Lee would knock him out. Um, but, you know, that's my opinion. I might be wrong, um, but that's, that's how I feel. I think something else that the division shows, there was a lot of respect between Josh and Kiko during the fight. After the fight, Lee Wood had a quick shot with Josh and there was that mutual respect as well. So it shows you can be competitive, you can go at it, but still have that professional respect as well. Yeah, definitely. You have to respect everybody that gets in the ring. I respect Josh Warrington tonight. He's a two-time world champion. You know, I mean, no disrespect when I think when I say that I think Lee would knock him out. I mean, no disrespect at all. You know, this is boxing. It's the ultimate working man's sport you know we all come from nothing and we're on this stage now uh, performing and, and giving everything in every fight so you know how can you not respect anybody that's putting their life on the line to, to you know give the fans entertainment so yeah fair play to Josh he's earned his stripes he's two time uh, world champion he's, he's given the fans a great night and, and he deserves everything that he gets Absolutely. Now, Josh has also said that uh, he'd quite like to treat the Leeds fans and his fans to a trip to Vegas. So uh, you'd have a vested interest in whoever he fights next uh, as well. Can you see uh, Josh, the Leeds fans, and perhaps yourself having a bit of fun in Vegas if that happened? Yeah, possibly. I can't say that I'd be there. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they'll have a good time if they go, whoever they fight, whether it's Leo Santa Cruz where it's another American, um, you know, there's plenty of big names in the featherweight division, it's a very hot division, and uh, whoever he fights is going to be a massive fight, and, and uh, they'll make a big show of it. I think three of the most ex exciting fights we've seen recently is Josh tonight, Lee Wood a couple of weeks ago, and you in what I suppose has been described as a comeback win, uh, in some respects, in terms of how some people perceived the fight on the night sensational KO, you have had belief in yourself, but it's come at a slight cost. Give us an update on the arm. Uh, I've had a hand operation, uh, and it's not from the fight. It's actually I've had a bad hand for the last two years, so I've not been able to train properly for, for since I've had it. So um, they've taken a bone out of my hip, put it in my hand, fused it all together, and um, yeah, I'm on the mend now. So I'll be ready to fight in August and looking for a big fight.
Is that challenging when you want to really dig with the right, but you know you're actually carrying it to an extent? Yeah, it is. And like obviously on the fight night, you let it go. But during the in the camp, in the training, if you punch him with your right hand, 60%. You're not developing your arm muscles, your chest muscles, your back muscles that are supporting that arm. So, yeah, you, you're not getting the best out of yourself. So now I'm going to have two hands. I'm going to be going into training 100%. I'm going to go into these fights 100%. And uh, you're going to see a different different animal, I think. Um, what's the time scale for recovery on the road map after that? Uh, I've got a scan in about six weeks um, just to see uh, how it's healing. I'll start building it up from there and I'll be ready to fight in August. And finally, lots of big fights coming up. Any that you're looking forward to in particular? Um, I am looking forward to Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson and Valdez. Um, that's, that's the fight I'm looking forward to. Well, thanks for your time. Good luck with the rehabilitation. And we'll look forward to seeing you back in the ring soon. Cheers, mate. Thank you.